This is the main login screen of Toro. Your employees will log in and that will set up their privileges throughout the rest of their session. This means you can set up different discount levels, access levels, who can access different areas of Toro. This means that you can have a friend or customer open your store and just assign a four-digit code to their profile and they should be able to open your store and help your customers seamlessly with minimal training. When an employee types in their four-digit code, this begins with automating the opening of the store. The first item is to prompt the employee to clock in. On this screen, they can leave a note for you. These notes will show up in your payroll report. If a manager is available, they can click the Adjust Time button and adjust the time immediately. Click OK. Once clocked in, Toro will begin the opening process. One of our goals is to get rid of all the post-it notes and different forms of communication. Instead, owners and employees can use both to-do lists and messages to communicate. This ensures that no message is ever missed. The to-do list is prompted immediately if the employee has a task that needs done. These are also text messaged to your employees. This is the analytic selling assistant and its purpose is to give your employees nine cigars to sell for the day that will help you with your shop goals. We will go into more detail on this in the inventory ordering video. Next is the messages. Like TO do list, these will keep prompting until they are read. Both of these can be delayed for one or four hours. Now that we are clocked in, we get our first notification inside of Toro. This is to print the opening checklist for your store. For the purposes of demo, we have these printing out to the screen so you can see what it would look like. These checklists can be defined for every day of the week with different items for both opening and closing. This brings a higher level of accountability to your employees. After that we can go to start a transaction by clicking the big teal button on the left. The system is also touchscreen enabled. We now get a warning that the cash drawer has not been counted for the day, which we would want to do before performing a transaction. The goal of this window is to balance out your opening and closing. So last night we closed with $443.25. So we expect that there should be $443.24 this morning at opening. This is basically a calculator, so no need to do math, just count the quantities and input them. As you can see below, we have a difference minus 10. I'm short $10 somewhere. So in that case we go back, probably start with recounting the tens and adjust this to 21. Toro has a very similar window at close of business. It will allow your employee to count out the cash drawer and the expected will be whatever amount you opened with plus the amounts of cash sales you did for the day. For example, if you did $200 in cash sales day, then the closing will expect $643.25. Humidor screen, this window will allow your employees to tell you about your humidors. You can define the min and max values for both temperature and humidity for all of your humidors. If a value is supplied outside of your ranges, then a warning will pop up for the employee. The first three lines are built by Toro, and the final line is something that you can specify to your employees of what to do when one of these values is out of your ranges. Everybody has different things they need to do when their humidity is high or low in their humidor. In addition, the owners of the store will receive a text message if the humidors have values outside of the predefined ranges. The last pop-up as part of opening the store is the consumable inventory items. In this store we have a monthly item that needs done, and then three items that need done each week. You can define as many as you want. We have found that the most important one is for the cleaning supplies. Again, trying to be more than just a POS and actually help manage the all aspects of your store. On our cleaning supplies inventory, we count toilet paper, hand soap, and all cleaning items. These are things we tend not to pay attention to but when we run out, it is a major issue. 
We set all of our levels high enough that when it is below a threshold we have a week or more to get the items. The goal is that the owner can get these items with enough notice so they don't have to drop everything the day the supply is gone. When the values are supplied, a list of what is needed is sent to the owner via text message. In a recap of the opening, there were seven items that the opening employee had to handle. First, they were forced to clock in, then see their TO do list and messages. Once in Totoro, they were prompted to see the opening checklist for the store, count the cash drawer, report values for the humidors, and report on the consumable inventory items. We are now going to do transaction for a customer who is just grabbing some items and not going to give you their phone number. So click the large button to start a transaction. This window will come back in the next transaction. The customer didn't want to give us their phone number. So now that we're in here, we can go ahead and start scanning items. So I'll scan that a barcode for an item in our catalog. When I scan it, we are prompted for age verification. Age verification is fully built into the system. Here we can scan the ID or press F12 and manually input a birthday. Once the age is confirmed that the item is added to the transaction. Another method of adding items to a transaction is to search for them. We will search Maduro and any items with Maduro as part of the name will be loaded. We can also short search and input Mad ROB and that will show all Maduro Robustos. From here, we can click and add more items. One thing to note is that the length and ring gauge is displayed for your items. Toro is preloaded with over 65,000 cigars. The majority of those also have metadata about the cigars. We have the country of origin, wrapper, binder, filler, strength, body, length, and ring gauge. We are currently working to add in barcodes and wholesale pricing. You can go back to the main menu by hitting the spacebar. Another way to add items is to click through the menus. When clicking cigar, a list of all the brands you carry are loaded. We will select the brand Cavalier. Now all Cavalier items are loaded and we can add them. If you're in a brand, you can also search within the brand. If you want to see all the Robustos that Cavalier offers, then you can search that and only results within the brand are loaded. Once you have items on your transaction, you're able to go through and highlight different rows. We can increase quantities, we can decrease quantities, we can throw a discount on them. Discounts can be done in either a dollar discount or percentage discount. So if we are giving a 10% discount on the selected items, then just type in 10. My max adjustment is 100%. You can set the amount that each employee has able the ability to discount an item. If I don't provide a reason, then I get a warning. I need at least three characters. You can specify per employee how many characters they have to type out to give a discount. We tend to use codes to identify discounts, so we put in POL for police. We can also remove all the highlighted items. A major difference with Toro from others on the market is that we are tobacconists and understand our industry. Developing a robust method for handling inventory was vital to us. Part of this is shown when we want the item to be a box instead of a single. In Tour, just right-click on the item and click Change the Box. This removes the human element of guessing how many are in the box and clicking the Increase button the correct number of times. Since manufacturers also change the box count, this is especially vital in keeping a correct inventory. This will load the box pricing. In addition, we apply an automatic discount of 10% to the item. This discount can be turned on or off with whatever value you use. We are going to remove a few items to get this down to a simpler transaction. Now the total due is $12.50. From here we can hit Start tab, apply a coupon or we can add a payment and close out the transaction. When adding a payment, if we haven't acquired the customer information yet, then we are prompted again. 
We will cancel for now and show these features on a future transaction. On the Add Payment window, we have several payment options available. We have the Cash button. Swipe Simple, Check, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App and other option. This button allows you to just record a payment you received external to Toro. There is a credit slash debit button and credit slash debit card not present. If you do a large amount of phone orders or any online orders, then we will set you up with a card not present account. Gift cards are fully integrated into Toro. These are high quality full color gift cards. Employee comp is an amount that you can give your employees per day that they're allowed to comp out. This amount is defined per employee and resets every day. Our managers receive $5 every day that they can comp out something if needed. Store comp is used when items are needed for use in the store. Typically it is for needing a new cutter or lighter for the store, or if the store needs more butane. We will select cash and show you another feature. Cash rounding feature is turned on for this demo. This feature and all the features you have seen can be turned on or off for your store. The cash rounding feature rounds all cash transactions up to the next dollar. So this removes the need for carrying change in your store. If the customer didn't provide their number, then when cash is selected, they have three options. First, pay with exact change. If they don't have exact change, then they have two options. We would ask for their number and then the change gets attached to their virtual gift card. If the customer still does not want to provide their number, then the change goes to the charity of our choice. At our store we do cigars for soldiers. This Ascendi Ally becomes a piggy bank for your customers and then we typically notify them on their birthday with the amount they have accumulated on their virtual gift card and they can buy themselves a gift. This speeds up our opening slash closing process and every transaction. Another feature is the credit service fee feature. The store is able to pass your credit card fees onto your customers. You can also in addition have a credit card minimum, which we have set at $15. You can select which employees can override the minimum. When the credit debit button is clicked, the retail transaction is $13 again. This time the difference is our 3% service fee of $0.38 cents that was added onto that transaction. We will proceed with the cash option and donate to the charity. Next Toro asks the employee if the customer is staying or taking out. This allows Toro the ability to start tracking where you are making money and who is spending the most in each category is a great feature if you are wanting to potentially close or add on to your retail area or the lounge. The final question is for the transaction receipt. In this transaction, we did not capture a customer, so we don't have the text message or email option and can only print.